Hello, this is my desk. She's been a work in progress for the past two years. Here is everything I've gotten in two years. So let's start with the basics. My Flexi Spot desk. This is an amazing, amazing desk. It has several settings that you can change. Look at the beauty. It's a sight to behold. I got this as a gift from Flexi Spot and it's very durable. <laughs> now to me, that is pretty impressive. Next is arguably my favorite thing, the Acer Nitro XE306C monitor. I mean, she slays. White border, vest mount accessible. Honestly, this is a pretty decent size. I'm not sure if I would want to go up, but I mean, you know, you can never have too big of a monitor. But for the price of Hololi $199, I would recommend this to everybody and anybody who is in the search for a new monitor. Coupled up with the monitor, the monitor arm that I got from Amazon. This thing was cheap as dirt. I think it was like 20 or $30. There are many things that I love about this monitor lamp. For one, it sets quite the ambiance. It also has easy access buttons on the top to change the settings, the power. It also has a smart sensor. So this is without Miss Light Bar. It's kind of dark, kind of gloomy. And this is with Miss Light Bar. I mean, it really just makes such a huge difference in my office. The whole intention of this monitor bar was to get it so that when I make my TikTok and Instagram videos, my short form content, it really painted a beautiful picture in the background and just makes everything look so pretty. This is the monitor shelf that I got from Grove Made as a brand collab. I got it in the color oak with the aluminum shelf and also it has cork legs which i've actually done a review on this product on tiktok and instagram and i've given my full and honest opinion it sits at a hefty price and i feel like to me the issues i'm having with it it's bending slightly and i've had this for under a year so while i'm showcasing this and telling you like this is what i have on my desk i'm going to be completely honest with you and tell you that i don't think it's worth the price tag i would honestly seek something a little bit more affordable but if you do decide that hey i really want this i do have a 10 percent discount code that you can use and i'm going to add it to my descriptions okay my personal opinion on this product should not be the deciding factor on whether or not you get it but i am giving you my true honest opinion i do have an issue with it and i don't think the price is worth it at the same time, Love Grove made the shelves. These shelves here, I absolutely think that these shelves are worth the price. The cork, as you can see, is built in aluminum inside of it. So it's really sturdy and it holds up the shelf. I have absolutely no issues. There is no bending, nothing on the wood. And it really does make a statement. It is such a cute shelf and I absolutely recommend the shelf, okay? So while, you know, this monitor stand is questionable for me, the shelf, absolutely 100%. Definitely recommend you should get this, okay? So I do have a 10% discount code in my description. Go ahead, use it if you want to but just wanted to share my honest opinion on the monitor shelf. Now my keyboard has been a huge, 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 huge hit in all of my videos and it's easy to see why, okay? Just take a look at her. She is absolutely stunning. This is a high ground keyboard and high in the name, absolutely. It is high quality. This is such a good keyboard. I love it so much. And I love the Ninja keys and how instead of the letters being on the top, it's on the side. To me, it is just so aesthetic. Also, I love the color scheme of the rainbow. This kind of looks like like more of like a cooler toned, you know, versus my other keyboard where the colors are a little more warm toned. And personally, as you can tell, my desk is quite cool toned and I'm going for more of a cool look. Now, another product that I am constantly asked about is my chair. And I'm only going to show this to you because this is a room tour. This is the chair I use, but do I recommend it? You ready? How's she gonna be quiet right now? You hear that? <laughs> I call her Miss Squeaks. Anytime I do anything, she squeaks intensely, especially when I'm on phone calls. <laughs> now, to be fully transparent, I have had this chair for about three years now, so, I mean, that could be attributed to the age. However, I do feel like it shouldn't be as squeaky. <laughs> as it is. She's cute. I mean, I love the cool tone of the pink. That is a big thing for me because again, I'm a cool tone girl. Like I just love cool tones. Okay. So for me, that was important. However, I just think that over the years it has just gotten so incredibly squeaky. It's pretty flat nowadays. And I don't know. I just feel like you should invest into something that's a little more expensive because the quality will be there and maybe it won't squeak so much. Okay. So I get asked about this one quite a lot and I kind of feel like a catfish because it's not what it looks like. 
my little monstera plant she is gorgeous and she is 100% fake okay she is faux 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 like this is such a catfish she really does be fooling people and you know what I love that for her and I was well on my way to buy 20 or 30 more of these cutie patooties but you know what they've been unavailable for the past two months just look she looks real so I as you can see have this lovely bookshelf I was inspired to get this bookshelf in particular because girl from home on Instagram has one like this however hers was the more expensive one one, but it was also wider and unfortunately if I went wider I would not be able to close the door so I went with this one and although it does have exposed metal I am planning to go through and paint that myself however it's not too much of a big deal for me it is a beautiful statement piece in my office and you know what if you want to nitpick me for the middle Please don't, I'll cry. <laughs> this is my high free table lamp. I really like this lamp. I got it from Amazon. It's dirt cheap, I think like $25 or something like that max. It has an app you can use. It is also, you can touch it to turn it on or turn it off. But I find that I just prefer it at this color because it works with my color scheme so freaking well. So I have like 30 million bases and they all serve a purpose. So I got this pink base from Amazon and I was like, you know what? I love it. And then I got the clear version of it because again i'm obsessed okay but that wasn't enough you see so i got this gorgeous clear book face and i feel like she really is a moment and i appreciate her on the bookshelf because although i don't have any books i do have a clear book faux book but it holds plants fake plants everything here is fake i guess <laughs> this is my stink plant i don't know how she's still alive to be honest with you but i appreciate her for being alive to this day homer depot and then this face also is from amazon i will have every single thing linked in the description and it will take me time but i will do it for you because i care i feel like lighting is such an essential part of content and just the home in general and i just so happen to have like 30 of them this is my little mushroom lamp she is very cute i of course got her from amazon are we surprised? No, not at all. Now this one, she has turned bougie. She's been very um, flat and had no personality. And now she is a moment because I made a small change and it made a huge difference. I actually got this lamp when I was doing PMU. Can you believe that? I was tattooing people's eyebrows. Wow, crazy. And I've used this thing forever and it's been so amazing and I just love it. It's so simple too. I mean, it's just, you just, boom, wow. Let there be light, huh? And then different colors, but you know me, girl. I am a cold, cool toned boo, okay? I just prefer the cold. I don't know what it is, I don't know why. Let's take a trip. I got a hair stuck on my mustache. Welcome. This feels very intimate down here, however, if you look above, you will see that I have a string of LED lights. Now this is, of course, Govi. I love the Govi brand, okay? I mean, I think it was like $19 and it, it's such good quality. I just love this brand in particular. But the reason why I have it is because I enjoy the subtle hues that happen under my desk. I feel like it's very pretty and creates a very gorgeous ambiance below. Now here is my sweet grandma. This is my computer. She is eight years old, okay? Eight years old and she's still running barely. I can barely keep her alive, y'all. I've already had to do a total reset of my computer and I lost everything. And then I forgave and I forgot, you know, because I was like, it's fine. You know, I need a computer. I am a content creator. I'm an editor. I need to edit content. My brother fixed her. It's an NCXT base and the inside guts are Asus and I have an Intel processor. I have an Intel processor. I also have a gigabyte video card and... I mean, I don't even want to tell you what it is because it's so old that <laughs> you can't even resell it. It's so old. It's, it's old. Eight years old, bro. Please, if you are a computer company, I'm begging you. I will do anything. Anyways, <laughs> whoa. So you see here, this moss rug went semi-viral on my TikTok. And girl, can you see why? I mean, just look at it. Absolutely stunning. So cute. I mean, she may be a little too small for my office, but I don't even care at this point. I, I want to get a bigger one. And if I get a bigger one, she'll go over here somewhere. But until then, we just ride together. What I do love, the texture, how some of the carpet is raised higher than the other. And they're supposed to be daisies, but somebody said they look like eggs. And now I just can't unsee it. And 
it's fine. I'm just stepping on eggs. It's cool. So the next is this little stool that I use quite frequently to put my feet on because, you know, I work a lot here and if I don't elevate my legs, they get swollen because I'm 31. Okay, I have some years on me. So I have to put my feet up and she does a great job and I have a little blanket in there and I'm not gonna take it out because if I pop the lid, it's never gonna close again. Okay, so just respect me. Thank you. I was getting to a point where my desk was like hyper cluttered, okay? Like I love clutter, but it was too cluttered. So I made changes with my headphones specifically. Instead of putting them somewhere up there and just adding to the clutter, I put it here. I got this little attachment from Amazon. It was super easy to put on. Um, you can actually do it in other ways as well. If you want to hang it at a different angle, you can do that too. That's cool. Live, love, love it. These are my headphones. They are Sony. And to be honest with you, I don't recommend them anymore. I did at one point, but although I wanted a small headphone, the problem that I have with these headphones in particular, the cushions are just not cushiony. So they actually cause tension to my head and then I end up with tension headaches. So although I love the size and the color and I feel like it was, you know, executed well, I just feel like they could have done a better job with the cushions. So because I'm always working from home in this office all day, every day, and I never leave, it is important that my mental health is as well kept as possible. So I have a couple of things that kind of keep me in check subconsciously. So this is my day one affirmation card. These are pretty general. I like this deck in particular because it's, like I said, general. Also, I love the design of the card. I think it's really cute. I do have two different kinds of intelligent change affirmation cards that I absolutely love, 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 love. So this one in particular is the Love Collection. And I feel like with this one, I never didn't have love growing up, but I did have issues learning how to love effectively. My relationship with love was a little unhealthy and I feel like having things that inspire me to think about love differently because love doesn't have to just be romantic. It can be platonic as well. You can love your friends. You can love the trees. You can love the bugs. You know, you can love the door that you're walking through. You can love everything, every facet of life. So for me, I wanted to work on that a little bit more. They really just keep me feeling good. Say it with me, friends. I am grateful for all the love I feel and receive in my life. Okay, good. Let's go. Y'all, I've had financial blockages my almost in my entire life. That is a product of the scarcity mindset that I grew up with and that's okay. However, I do find that having these little reminders on my in my office keep me feeling good about finances and my opinion and my relationship to money and what I think about money. So while it may not be something that is like a solution or something that changes your life right away, it really helps me feel secure and safe. And to be honest with you, since I've adopted more of a accepting approach to finances, I feel like blessings financially have been coming to me a lot easier. But this is not, we're not, we're not going there. This is my subtle switch flex, okay? I love my Nintendo Switch. Originally when I got this thing, I was like, <sighs> I've never been like a Nintendo girly like this. I was always a PlayStation and a PC girl. So when I got this, I was like, you know what? I just kind of want it for the aesthetics. I know, okay? I know. It's repulsive that I just said that. But when I got this, I fell in love and I cannot be separated from the Switch. Take a look at her. She is so cute. This is the Geek Sheer Kuma Donut case and I am obsessed. It is so cute. Look at her. And the fact that it came with the thumb grips too. How are they selling it for this cheap? And how are they not sold out? This case is also dockable. So you can put it on the dock, new issues. Little donut booties, so cute. This here is my mono microphone. I, I don't use it, to be honest with you. I am not doing the ASMR thing, like where I do that and the crunchiness and all that stuff and the nails and the slime. I feel like this is the perfect microphone for like if somebody's making music or if they're doing ASMR because it is a condenser microphone. So for me, it doesn't work because I do not do any of the above. I feel like art is arguably the most important aspect when you are decorating your room or something like that. Art for me is a form of expression. I am an artist, okay? So it's very important to me. So when I'm looking for art, I'm looking for, okay, what's gonna go with the aesthetic? I'm not an interior designer whatsoever. So I don't know what really looks good, but let me show you exactly all the art that I have. So this is Nima. This is a original character from Ross Tran, who is Ross Draws. He is my favorite freaking artist. I just love the vibrant colors, the beautiful composition, the characters, like, he, oh, he's so good at art. This is also another picture of Nima. I'm obsessed with this character, obviously. For me, this is a very, important picture because I lost two of my cats in 2020 and it was so traumatic. And this was one of those freebie art pieces that he added into the package when I bought the limited edition Nima book. And 
this just to me was like, wow, this is my little babies just speaking to me, telling me that they loved me. And that's how it felt to me. And it just feels so special because I had this when I was crying every day for days about my cats. And then I get, I get this as a freebie. Ugh, it just had so much value to me and honestly made me love Ross a lot more. So I have a couple of Matisse artworks back there. I got them from Amazon, just a set of prints that they give to you. And while they don't have much sentimental value, I do feel like they fit in with my aesthetic very well. So they're gonna stay here for now. But eventually I wanna work up to like, you know, more authentic pieces with artists that I love and admire. Cause there, I have a lot of them that I love. Yeah, that's what I have right now currently. So stay tuned, especially for when I do this side of the room game over. Here's a moment for my stationery. I actually got this from Amazon just recently. I have this silicone holder that I love behind my lighter in there for my 10,000 year old candle that I have. This is a mix of pens, aesthetic pens, and pencils. Yeah, I just love the colors of these. They are just so gorgeous. I'm definitely gonna attach these for you. The pencils come in a set of 0.5 and 0.7, and then the pens are just you know, standard pens. There is an eraser on here. And it comes with re eraser refills, okay? So these are really, really cute. I definitely recommend getting these. This candle is like, I think 60 or $70, which is insane to me. I actually got this thing as a gift from like the Skeepers app, which I don't really recommend for people who wanna create content. That's not really a fair trade, but I digress. This candle I've actually had for so long, a couple of months now, like maybe four or five. And I just, I only turn it on when I'm making content because it's so expensive, but I mean, it smells good. And I just love the aesthetic. So once she's done, I'm gonna gut her and then I'm gonna turn her into something, maybe like a, I don't know, maybe a toothbrush holder or something, you know? I have a couple other candles that I don't use. They're just for aesthetics only. So we have aesthetic candle number one. And actually these smell really good. And then aesthetic candle number two, Amazon, Amazon. And then aesthetic candle number three. I actually have two of these, but yeah. And I got this candle holder in a set of three on Amazon. Of course, this is my Larimar. I love the Larimar stone, it's so gorgeous. And since we're on the topic of rocks, crystals, woo woo. So I have two amethysts on my desk. This one was a gift from my friend, Lindsay. She got this for me for my birthday and I appreciate it very much. And this is an amethyst from my late father. He got this for me and you know, as you can see here, I actually messed it up a little bit in the move, but um, this one is very sentimental to me. I guess this is just like the sentimental shelf. <laughs> it's a lot of sentimental value, but this one is very important to me because this is something that my father gave me, you know? And this is a little something that he left with me. And in fact, one of the cats was a cat that my father also left me. So as you can see, my dad is just, he is the shelf, you know? And he holds space for me. I love, love, love being here. This is just such a safe space for me. And I honestly can't believe that I have cultivated such a beautiful and open inviting environment for myself because I would have never guessed that I had the ability to do so several years ago. Also, if you feel like I missed anything, let me know in the comments. And if you want me to do a review, let me know in the comments as well. I will do reviews on any of these products, okay? Thank you for letting me leak my truth and I will catch you next time. And if you like this, please subscribe.